Welcome whiskey aficionados, how's it going? Review number 73. Gonna look at uh, an old Irish dram today, cheap and cheerful. Jameson's IPA Caskmate Edition. Now make sure you subscribe, you don't want to miss anything. And what have we got here? This, you know, um, it's very surprising. It's, it's a light, easygoing, everyday type of whiskey. It's cheap. Like, uh, I think, uh, speaking to an old friend of mine just earlier, APM website has it at 40 bucks. That's in New Zealand, which is incredible value. Um, you don't expect to be able to buy a whiskey of any description for around that price and be able to enjoy it uh, just as is, okay? So, it's an IPA edition. Now, in my last review, I said, you know, what, what is an IPA whiskey? So effectively what they do, they take their standard Jameson's whiskey, they take the standard barrel, and they chuck it out. Well, they don't chuck it out, they put it into another container, and they get some IPA, they put it into the barrel, and they season that barrel with the IPA for a, a time, it could be a month, I don't know. And what happens is that that beer imparts into the wood, okay, it goes into the wood, then they'll empty that out into another container and they'll put the whiskey back in, therefore bringing some of that IPA character, some of that IPA flavor uh, into the whiskey. So it's really just a, a flavored standard Jameson whiskey. It's bottled at 40%, very light whiskey. All Irish whiskeys are fairly light. I am gonna try a cask strength uh, writer's tears fairly soon, but. Uh, most Irish whiskies you'll find um, they're fairly light, they're fairly easy to drink. Uh, if you were going to be on a night of whiskey, it's a good place to start, right? Just warms the palate up. Let's see what this is like. Now, I wanted to say something. I looked up the um, Jameson uh, website to see if I could find anything about the IPA process. Uh, I found out a little bit, but. One, one thing that struck me was on their tasting notes. Um, it says on their website that you're going to get uh, herbal hops, you know, um, it is a floral type of thing, and you're gonna get light wood shavings with some nuttiness. Now, perhaps the person that wrote this was a little nutty, but wood shavings and a little nuttiness I don't think so. It is light. It's non-offensive. That's the thing, you know. It's, it's, it's not a fantastic dram. It's not uh, a whiskey for a seasoned whiskey drinker. But there's nothing offensive about it. It's an easy drinker. On the nose, fresh, fruity, light. So, you know, it's fine. Uh, on the palate, Easy. I got orange. I got a, I got quite a hit of orange, and there's a very very tiny light spice in the tongue, and it's palatable. It's very nice. It's very very easy to drink. Very fresh. Um, yeah, you know, like a, like a fruit salad, like an orange fruit salad type of thing. Um, the official notes say that you get hops, light citrus, sweet herbal notes, and delicate spicy tones. Well, okay. Um, yeah, okay. I'll go along with that. That's okay. Uh, finish. It says on their side that you're going to get a lingering fresh fruit and hops to give the way to grains and barley and a signature smooth finish. It absolutely does have a smooth finish because it's triple distilled like any, any whiskey usually, any Irish triple distilled whiskey, it'll be fairly smooth. Uh, there is that fresh fruity uh, thing going on. Um, I don't get any hops and I don't get any wood shavings and I don't get much nuttiness, but hey, we all get different things. And that's, that's the beauty about, um, that's the beauty about the reviews. It's the beauty about you tasting something, me tasting something. We all get something a little bit different. So, you know, value for money. I'm not talking about how good the whiskey is. I'm talking about value for money. It's a decent, okay whiskey, but for the price, it elevates it into the stratosphere as far as I'm concerned it does you know it's, a, it's an everyday drinker 
and I'll give that up around an 86 out of 100 because I think, I think, it's, I think you have to take into consideration that uh, most people who drink whiskey can't afford to be drinking two, three, four, five hundred dollar bottles of whiskey or even hundred and fifty dollar bottles. That's a great substitute, it's great value, nice and easy to drink. So, good job Jameson's. Next, in review 74, we're going to uh, have a little look at bourbon. Um, what is it we've got? We have got an old Forester Kentucky Straight Bourbon. So that's going to be in review 74, um, which is going to be quite, quite good. And until then, slaunch it.